Hi, this is John from Android Addicts with a comparison test of the new GPU Turbo 2.0 that Huawei have been releasing onto their uh, phones recently. So at near the end of last year an update came out which was supposedly meant to make the graphics performance much better by just doing a software update on the phone. I've actually held out from installing it uh, just so I can do this test and this seems to be the only time I've managed to have that I can actually perform it. So without further ado this is the current uh, build number and EMUI version number and the update is currently not installed. You can see here there's a new version available and I haven't installed it I'm just waiting to do this test. So there's two games which I'm going to test it with and I'm going to be using something called Game Bench to actually do the uh, FPS counting. It's taken a while to set up but once it's set up it will record the frames per second on the screen so you can view it and you can see the difference before and after. So we're going to test two games, PUBG and Vainglory. This is the before test and I'm going to record the FPS on the game bench uh, PC app as well at the same time so hopefully you'll be able to see I'll try and overlay it onto the screen at some point and you can actually see what's going on in real time. So without further ado I believe all I need to do is actually click play on here through game bench and it will open up and start actually recording. Now as you can see I haven't actually played this very much. I played it once last night and actually won the first game so we'll see if I can have any further luck in doing that. I'm only going to record for a few minutes. Uh, the game bench free trial only allows you to uh, record for I believe it's half an hour a day so I don't want to use that all up because I've got another game to test. So we're currently running at about 30 frames per second. Now the settings in the game, if I can just bring them up. Uh, where are we? Graphics. So it's currently set to HD and high quality. So I'm not going to change it how it, from what it was automatically set as. I'm just going to leave it and we'll see what difference it makes when the update has been applied. So as people are loading in you can see we're getting what 19, low of 19 frames per second. Let's throw a few apples. Sure, who we're shooting at. So it looks like it's getting around 30 frames per second without too much lag. I'm just going to change the graphics if it will let me in the game to. Oh, okay. Can't change it to Ultra HD, but we'll change it to HDR and Ultra and see what happens.
are you thinking? Like, don't you know you're going against the best sniper in the game? Huh? Don't you know you're going against the best? Shouldn't really have messed with me there. So on the ultra settings, we're getting higher frame rates, which is nice to see. And yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this compares when we have done the update. It'd be good if I could find some kind of car or something just to ride around in. But I don't want to go in the water. Oh, so we're dropping quite low here, 20 frames per second. I think that was when I went down near the water. Okay, so that gives you a bit of an idea of PUBG. So now I've captured the footage. Uh, the previous PUBG footage actually stopped because the size of the file on the camera reached two gigabytes and then it automatically stopped. But the end result, as you can see here, is 38 frames per second. So if we just have a look at the graph, you can see there's plenty of drops and bumps along the way, but the user experience is still good. I mean, it wasn't, I didn't have any problems killing people, and I did kill a couple of people. So, without further ado, I'm going to install this update, which has been sat here waiting for a good few months. And we're going to see whether the GPU turbo acceleration technology improves the processing efficiency of the graphics. So, I'm going to click resume here. Just let that install. Install now. Okay, I think because I've had it uh, partly downloaded for so long, it's actually the package is no longer valid. So we're going to install the latest one, which is from what date is this? It's got the November update security patch in it, so we'll start that downloading anyway. That's going to take a while, and I will continue recording once it has finished. Okay, I'm back again now. I've installed the latest EMUI update, and you can now see that GPU Turbo is installed, or now configured. So what I'm going to do is rerun the games and just see whether it made any difference. I'm going to launch it through the game bench, which will show the frames per second in the top corner again. Okay. Got the frames per second working again. Counter in the top. So we're gonna start matchmaking and jump into a game. Welcome to PUBG Mobile. drops here and there. This could be because people are loading into the game still. jump out as soon as I can.
and I believe that's probably our 30 minutes used up. Now I didn't spot particularly a huge improvement. Let's go for a bit of a drive and see if we notice anything. Could drive. Let's try and drive uh, closer to the water because that seemed to be where the most lag was. So we keep going straight. Yeah, that was definitely Don't better. There's definitely a lot less lag going on there. On a boat, you can see some of the water effects. Right, okay, so let's have a quick look at the different comparisons before and after for the frame rate, the CPU and the memory. Here we can see the frame rate charts. So we've got the before and the after. There's quite a big difference. As you can see, the after with GPU Turbo installed is a much flatter and a more consistent sort of 40 frames per second. Whereas the before, although the average was 38 frames per second, as you can see, it did dip and jump quite a few times. So just to recap on the frame rate, before the average was 38 frames per second with an 81% FPS stability and a variability of 2.94 frames per second. And afterwards, the average was 40 frames per second. So that's only two frames per second of an increase but the frames per second stability was much higher, 95%. So although it was only a few more frames extra, it was much more stable whilst running the game. Okay, let's quickly compare the CPU charts. We've got the CPU utilization, which is in percent, and then we've got the frequency charts as well. As you can see here, the average usage before the update was 18.30%, with peak usage of 33.91%, and afterwards, the average usage has actually increased by nearly 2% to 2.0%, uh, sorry, to 20.10%, and the peak usage has increased to 40.04%. Okay, the final charts we have are the memory usage before and after. So before the update, the average memory usage while playing the game was 772 megabytes, and afterwards it's actually increased by 115 megabytes to 887 megabytes average memory usage. The peaks are also quite different. So before it only peaked at 830 megabytes of RAM, which is actually less than the average after the update. And the peak after the update was over a gigabyte of RAM. So quite a big difference there. Hopefully you found this video useful. It does prove that the GPU Turbo update has definitely helped. Uh, it's not, you know, you're not going to get 120 frames per second out of a game, not yet anyway, but it's giving you a steady and consistent frame rate in comparison to before the GPU Turbo update was installed, so that's great news. So thanks for watching, uh, please click the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel for more, and I will see you again in the next video.